Hey guys, happy Chinese New Year and welcome back to Cisco Biology. Today, we are going to do something different and I'm going to give you the unbound in this way. Ta-da! My analysis on all the trials papers, right? So today, we are going to talk about what are the topics that frequently came out in the trials papers from all states. Now guys, before we start, I just want to stress that this is not a tip. So this is just my analysis or maybe you can treat it like a checklist. You check whether you can understand the topics that came out in the 2021 trials paper or not. So remember, this is not a tip. All right, so let's get started. Now guys, look at the first column. These are the state papers that I have collected. And the second columns and following columns are the topics that can be found in the state papers, paper 2. Okay, so from question 1 to question 8, these are the questions from uh, paper 2, sections A. And following by the section B questions and section C questions. So if you have gone through all the trials paper, you will realize that some of the questions are quite similar, am I right? It's quite similar. So those topics, maybe it's a topic that you guys might want to put more efforts or really go and understand them. All right. So I have gone through all the papers and then this is my analysis. All right. So these are the topics that can be found in your trials papers. Are you familiar with this? So the second column will be the numbers or times that this topic came out in the trials paper. So look at this one, the sound and organizations. Basically, this is the topic in Form 4, Chapter 2. So this topic, if you go back and look at the past year questions, SPM past year questions, you will realize that in Paper 2, most of the time, the sound and organizations, this topic will come out in the first questions or the second questions of the Paper 2, structural questions. For this time, trials paper, sound and organization came out eight times in all the state papers eight times so yep if you look at the past year questions and the trials paper you will know that definitely sound and organization is the topics that has high chance to come out in your spm all right in your coming spm so please go ahead and study this one so the question will be like ask you to name the structures like mitochondrion vacuole colopus and Golgi apparatus and so on all right so the next topic that I want to tell you is the cell respirations, oxygen depth, and fermentation. So cell respiration, including the alcohol fermentations, lactic acid fermentation, and aerobic respiration. So these three reactions, you guys must really go and memorize it because it came out six times in the trials paper. All right. So remember, you have another graph that is talking about the oxygen depth. If you guys have no idea what is the graph of the oxygen depth, just go and study it before the real SPM. All right, so the next one is the xylem and phloem, plus transportations of water and nutrients. Obviously, xylem functions transporting water and mineral salt, phloem functions transporting nutrients. So in this topic, they will give you some questions like translocation, transpirations, and how the plants absorb the water, the transpiration pool, and so on. All right. So next one, immunity, ND serum, ND serums and vaccination. All right. So immunity, ND serum and vaccination is the hot topic for this year because of the COVID-19 pandemic. So probably your exam, maybe they want to test you on the COVID-19 vaccination, or maybe they will ask you to recognize the graph of the artificial immunity or natural natural immunity and so on all right so the graph and the vaccinations they are very important okay the next one is talking about the skeleton and muscle now most of the time the students will just ignore this topic skeleton and muscle because they are just too boring but um, it came out five times in your prior paper talking about the antagonistic muscle how they work together to produce a movement and the problem that faced by uh, the patients if they are lack of vitamin D uh, or maybe calcium and phosphorus. So for example, like osteoporosis, for example, like those arthritis and so on. All right. And the next one will be the variations. Variations is talking about 
um, continuous and discontinuous variations. So maybe the structure question will be asking you to distinguish what is continuous variations and what is discontinuous variations. So you guys must know for the continuous variation, it is bell curve. The discontinuous variations will show you the discrete graph. So, and then variations will always combine with the meiosis and non disjunctions. Meiosis is definitely the one that you guys need to master. Meiosis, cell organization, and enzymatic reactions, all those topics are the must study topic for your SPM. But then, when we look at the trials paper, you realize that they love to combine the meiosis questions together with the non disjunctions. Guys, if you don't know what is non disjunction right now, please go and study non disjunction, which will lead to the symptom called Down syndrome. So the question will come out like this: they, they, they will ask you, okay, what what is the main cause of the Down syndrome? Then you need to talk about the non disjunctions and how non disjunctions is happening. All right. And then the next one we have the plant's growth curve. Plant's growth curve, um, because for the plant's growth curve, it can be divided into three graph, three graph, the annual, the biennial, and the perennial. So you guys need to recognize the graph and then at least need to memorize some of the examples. All right. Then we can talk about the xylem and annual ring. Uh, then you need to know how the annual ring is formed, and uh, you need to explain a little bit. Mm. The next one is the lymph and blood circulations. Uh, definitely, this is the big topic. Uh, normally, can be found in your essay question. The question we will ask will be asking you how the lymph is formed, how the blood circulation functions, and how the blood circulation brings back the lymph to the blood circulation, and so on. In your trials, we can see some questions related related to the lymph node, the lymph, and the tissue fluid, which is quite important. All right. Enzyme, yeah, definitely enzyme is the one that you need to study because enzyme, this kind of topic is going to be linked to some other topic, for example, like the digestions, okay, for example, like the digestions, or maybe it will ask you about the lock and key uh, hypothesis. So enzyme is a must, okay, it is the must study topic, enzyme, meiosis, and cell and organization. So the next one is the digestions and diet. Uh, digestion and diet is a big topic because normally digestion and diet will, will be coming out in your last questions somewhere here. You can see digestions, digestion, nutrition, digestions. Okay. So um, because this topic is a very broad topic that they can ask you about the digestive system and then they can ask you about the disease. Okay. Uh, for example, like cardiovascular, heart attack, and so on. All right, so next one is the environment. Now, environment is also quite quite important because this topic will be coming up in your last questions of paper two as well. So you can see, uh, besides breast digestive system, besides digestive system, we have the environment questions here, four environment questions. So guys, please get ready for the environment and do not ignore the environment topic. Please don't do that, all right? All right, so um, the next one will be the role of auxin and plants response. Now, plants hormones will be uh, kind of important as well, not only in paper two, maybe in paper one, they will ask you about the functions of the plants hormone. So the most important plants hormone is the auxin. Guys, auxin, especially the functions of auxin in the root and the stem how they change the directions of the stem, how they change the direction of the roots, how they grow. So these are the topics that you guys need to cover a little bit. And as well as the last one, afternoon coffee, guys. Afternoon coffee, the seedless fruit that can be done by spraying the oxygen on the flower. This one you guys need to understand as well. All right, so last one, inheritance. Inheritance came out in your trials for three times. Even though inheritance came out three times in a trials question, but it's kind of important as well because inheritance will link to meiosis and non disjunctions and maybe it will link to Down syndrome. So inheritance, yeah, you guys need to go and understand as well. So guys, besides all these main topics, maybe some of the subtopic you guys need to go and understand as well. For example, like the growth mangrove tree and gastric bypass and also the double fertilization. All these small 
topic you guys really need to go and study okay guys so making an analysis like this is time consuming i hope you guys can subscribe my channel and i will produce more videos like this in the future guys remember this is not the tips this is not the ramaran this is just an analysis or the checklist for you to check whether you guys can do all these questions or understand all these small topics or not all right so guys no worries you still have time please go and prepare for your coming SPM and I will be here to support you guys and I will see you guys in the next video bye